No, it's a sofa. You don't generally have stunt sofas. I don't think that's a thing in any industry. What about the one in Return to Oz? Sorry? The one in Return to Oz, you can fly that sofa. There's a flying sofa in Return to Oz? Yeah, yes. Return to Oz, yeah, yeah. I need to watch that again. And but you've got to get the past those scary things with the wheels. Oh, the, the wheeler wheels. thing, yeah. I remember yeah. them. Called yes. the Gump. They look like something from Digitizer the show, actually. There's a thought. Now, Peter has just reminded me we're moving into a new office and there is a massive brown sofa in it, like a 12 seater sofa that goes round a corner. So maybe that will be the stunt sofa from now on. So I can set it on fire, burn it, uh, get it to jump through a flaming hoop, and all <laughs> those other good stunt things that sofas clearly should be doing. I remember once a really old video of yours, Stuart. You had one where you, you, you panned out and the sofa was in like a field or something? Yes. It's, do you still use that sofa? The one, is that the same sofa from before? No, or? that bit has gone. The sofa is modular, or it was modular. There's now only one seat of it left. It's technically a chair and not a sofa. <laughs> so it's not a real sofa, the one you do your... <laughs> well, I remember carrying that damn sofa all the way out to that field and then home again for one visual gag. I always remember. Nobody remembers. After I seen you, I like, oh, I didn't ask you about the, the sofa in the field. Yeah. People thought it was my back garden. I'm like, my back garden isn't about four acres of untended field. <laughs> You do live in Norwich. Yeah, true. <laughs> yes. You have to go out to Swaffham for that, though. So we've got one last question, so I guess... This, guy, yeah. this one! Yeah. Hey, guys. So, um, one thing that... <laughs> you know, you've got to give your name. Uh, I'm Jared. You didn't want to ask Paul. Uh, guy YouTube channel. I'm uh, Jared, and I'm yet another person with another YouTube channel, but I don't do video games so much. I'm Get out! <laughs> I'm all technology, out, out. but uh, I'm good friends with Andrew, the back of nah. I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, <laughs> he does a lot of video games, and one thing that uh, I found interesting is I tend to stick to a single game and play it a lot, um, and I play them for years, whereas Andrew, and from what I've seen, a lot of people will play lots and lots of games, uh, almost what I would call game whoring, lots oh. of games. <laughs> Very um, God. And so I have two questions for you. The first one is, you guys, do you like to play lots of different games all the time, or do you prefer to stick to a small selection? This um, you go for it. Okay, so I will say I'm like a monogamist in that respect. Just one game at a time for me. You like wood? Yeah, I, well, yes. And a wood. I love wood. So... As an example, it's like I played, uh, what did I play till the bitter end recently? I played, oh, uh, Bioshock for the first time in ages, played it over and over again. But I have now sunk 1,985 hours into Binding of Isaac. Yeah. I'm, I'm really obsessed with that game, it's the only so game good. I play right now. So Just good. Hours. So, so that's that. Would you kindly play more? Yeah. I fucking love Binding of Isaac. It's a different game every time. And you play as a naked, crying baby. How amazing is that? It's such a good game. <laughs> um, for, for me, I've got, I've got into a, a strange area where I literally install a game, get to the title screen, and get bored, and then exit, and then go into a different game. I think it's because the Steam library has grown to such excessive heights due to Humble Bundle. I think, well, this title screen looks a bit shit, I'll move on, and then this <laughs> final one looks, looks better, and I end up never playing games, unless it's for, it's for, for a video. And that's because you got just so many. Back yeah. in the day, when you had to really work to save that 30 quid to go and buy that one game, even if it's crap, you'll find enjoyment in whatever that game is. <laughs> it's been 30 quid, that's a spectrum, it was 99p. <laughs> <laughs> um, I tend to just play the stuff that I do videos on a lot of the time I kind of still stick with my old stuff and I'm, I'm kind of like, I guess nostalgia in every way that I too have kind of a short attention span so I kind of stick to games uh, from my youth that are what, 30 minutes long if that, that's just about enough length for me I, I find it harder and harder to play a modern game that's like requires 40 hours commitment or something I just I can't do it anymore so I'm resigned to retro but I do think there's a lot of um, uh, new age retro games. I do think we're probably in one of the best gaming uh, times alive because there, there, there's so many tools available to people that want to make retro inspired games and we're still going back to the days of early people where there's only one or two people in the studio making a game. Like Quang, who's one person and he's made a game that would rival some of the retro games that you're going to probably spend 200 quid on over there. You know, like, it, 
Yeah, I, I, I think we're in a great time for gaming. So I do like to try and play as much online, as right? possible. Yeah. No, I do. I play as much as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm heavy on the indie scene because I feel like the indie scene is the new retro scene. Does that make sense? And it does. Before you ask well, me. Why did you ask me then? If it makes sense or not. <laughs> I'm just looking at you now. I like to look at you quite a lot. Mm. Oh, thank you. You're very staring at me today. All I said, there is so time. much sexual tension on this end of the table. <laughs> I don't really know how to deal with it. Oh. <laughs> 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 What's your favourite game? The generic question. Um, I I'm a bit I'm a bit mental um, with the. Uh, well, I'm a bit well, mental. End the, end the sentence. Um, and I, I go a bit mad with games. Um, I I kind of. Funny if the mic went dead then. <laughs> 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 um, I, I, I tend to play a hell of a lot of games all at once. I'm a bit like that. She I plays run... three copies of Pac-Man. Yeah, same literally time. at the same time with my foot. Like yeah. <laughs> um, that, just the other day, I spent literally a day trying to get Retro Pi working on my Raspberry Pi. Um, it turns out I'm an idiot, and it needed to be connected to the internet for it to boot up the first time. I didn't know that. <clears> it doesn't say that on the internet anywhere. So I was there being an absolute moron, like, why are you not fucking working? And getting in a mod. Um, but anyway, I got that working, and I just, I just got mental the, playing everything as, as, as many times as possible. And I, just, I thought it's Alone, just awesome. Alone in the Dark is your favourite game, isn't it? No, Alone in the Dark <laughs> is really not like my favourite game. It's awful. <laughs> Um, That's not the one we want to see extra pound, is it? Who's one of them? Save it. So my second question is, part of the reason I stick to a lot of um, set of the same game is because I like the multiplayer aspect and I like to get good at playing against other people who are good at playing, which means I have to play the same game a lot rather than switch between games. So. Do you guys prefer multiplayer games where you're playing against other people, or do you prefer games where it's against AI, or games that just are single Oh, I, I, I bloody love multiplayer games. I just like hurling abuse of people I'll never meet in real life, and it's never ever my fault if I lose. Can, can I just say, it, it depends entirely on who you're playing with, because when I stream with Retro Princess, mostly she just runs around going, ah, ah, and if I stream with Peter, then he just like, he just fucks off, and leaves me to get eaten. So, I don't know if I do find multiplayer yeah, games. Leave me out, hey, leave me out streaming. Well, no, you, you were just, when I was streaming with you and Peter, you were just flirting with Peter. So, I was the third wheel. So, basically. <laughs> Home wrecker! <laughs> the amount of times I'm on Skype to Larry um, <laughs> uh, editing videos, and then all of a sudden you just hear, bastard! Like, where he's playing PUBG, like, just screaming at people, but it'll be halfway through a conversation, you know, yeah, and you think he's going to be used or something, maybe it is. Hurling abuse, Brandon. I think that when Jean-Paul Sartre said, hell is other people, he was specifically referring to Fortnite. Um, yeah, I'm not, not into multiplayer games, especially not internet-based ones. Quite enjoy PUBG, because there's no communication, and you don't get near anyone, and you can just shoot them, and it doesn't matter, but... Even that, uh, I don't know, for me, multiplayer, you need to have the other person in the same room so you can nudge them when they're about to win. And that is the true joy of games. Yes, that is it. That Nothing is it. No ever... odd job, slaps only. Nothing will ever play giving your friend the crap joystick. Do any of you play mobile games? <laughs> the Mad Cats one. Uh, I think CEX or a place like that should get all their worst controllers and put them in a special pile and say, right, these are the ones for your mate when he comes around to give you an advantage. <laughs> all the buttons are stuck in, the joypad doesn't work, it's a ZX Vega Plus by the sounds of it. But, um, hey. oh, snap, he wet the girlfriend. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah you, oh, wait, they've just paid me money. It's great. <laughs> Although I think we've just figured out what the first digitizer merch is going to be. Boxy controllers to sell out, it could be a great one. I personally hate people, so I want to play alone. Don't speak to me, don't touch me, leave me alone. I want a single player experience. I, I, want to, I want to get involved in a world without a 13 year old telling me what my mum does. Because she doesn't, and she gets paid more than that. <laughs> well guys and girls, it's been enlightening. <laughs> We're very excited for a digitise of the show, hopefully out by the end of October. If uh, Mr. Biffo's got his laptop in rehab with him to do the editing, hopefully. So uh, please give a big thank you to our amazing panel. Now, many of the panel here will be joining us tomorrow for our YouTubers panel on the performance stage at midday. A bit later on today, on the Retro Hour stage, we've got Mike Montgomery, 
uh, from the Bitman Brothers in about half an hour. Archie McLean is going to be here at 3 o'clock today, and the Oliver Twins at half past four. So our next one is coming up in about half an hour. If you want to play some games or have a drink, you can. You've got 30 minutes before our next talk. Thank you.